Hello guys and uh, thanks for watching my channel, I'm David Madison the Guardian. I am the Guardian, um, I'm a practicing Jedi. will almost be uh, three years come this February. So my channel is about achieving success, achieving the life of your dreams through metaphysical and also hard science and tried and true um, principles of success. So in this video, um, I want to show you a practice that I do, which is uh, I usually come over from this side of the sidewalk that someone's over there, so I don't want to disturb them. And uh, <clears throat> this is a, a little mini strip mall, and it has these potted um, pine trees. Okay. So what I do is I practice moving um, the pine trees. And I start from over there because that's like the most windy side. And then I work my way along the building where the air gets less and less um, until it's like dead still. Um, now, they're not hanging them right now, but there were like potted plants. And those are much easier to move. But this is great training for thickening your energy. And, you know, for getting, getting reality to conform to your will. So I make a game of it. I'll go to the next one. As soon as I move the first one, I'll go to the next one, and go to the next one, and go to the next one. So that's what I'm doing. Okay? The likelihood that all of these would be moving when I approach um, is, is doubtful. Um, and these Christmas lights, eventually I want to get to the point where I can cause them to dim and brighten and go out and go back on. So if you're having difficulty with the energy, bring with you like a little piece of string and just dangle it. And you'll be able to sense into the energy much easier. And then once you've connected to that energy, then you'll be able to become more and more aware of it and it'll build and you'll eventually be able to move the tree. But it's baby steps, you know? Um, Apparently there's this palm looking tree here. Let's see, let's see if I can make this thing move. So come over here. Now this, I mean, look, we're, we're way far away from any serious air movement, okay? So I'm, we're blocked on most sides. So when things do move, like this started to move, and one of the secrets to success is to follow the energy. So the energy right now is that leaf. So as it moves, keep focusing on it, and then that'll make you aware of other things, and other things will start to move. And it's like a chain reaction, okay? So follow the energy. And eventually, you'll be moving the entire thing. But if you're focusing and something starts to move, but you're like, I'm fixated on moving this thing, but it won't move. And this one over here is moving. That's telling you something. The energy wants to go there. So for the time being, focus your energy where the energy wants to go. And then just like in Aikido, learning how to pivot I've said that in another video, I don't think I've uploaded it yet. But just like in Aikido, when you have an attacker, you redirect that motion, right? And then, and then you can actually go in the direction you originally wanted to go. So you're not 
fighting force with force kind of thing, right? But I'm trying to get my fingers to touch here. You're not fighting force against force. You're simply redirecting the motion for an instant and then going in the same direction that you planned all along. But now they're going with you. Okay. Now you guys in, are in agreement, you might say. And their mind is screaming at them, hey, uh, I don't understand what's going on. Why am I, you know, why am I going with this person? Um, in Aikido, that's a very common feeling that you get where your mind had an original inten intention, but the other person who's performing the technique as you attack, um, they wind up feeling like, that wasn't my intention. Like, why am I agreeing to go in this, in this direction with them? It's almost like I don't have control over my own body. I don't have control over my own mind. What the heck is happening? So you can use that same kind of philosophy of yielding, circling, and redirecting to help you move things. Um, to move heavier and heavier objects, uh, denser things, denser bushes, whatever it is. So. Okay, um, I'm just gonna do a quick walkthrough. So we've already passed, I think, uh, one, two, three trees, four, five, I think there's about six. Seven. And then you can practice doing inside stuff here when you get the energy going. Eight, six, seven, eight, I think. Nine. And as you see, I'm, ch I'm changing location in a very big way. So I started out way over there where there's a lot of airflow because of the right, and then I come back here so like nine ten yeah eleven and uh and twelve okay so that's good solid practice right there and if you can get to the point where you can consistently move um all twelve trees um then you're then you really know that you you've kind of got a handle on on aeromagnetics or uh, bending wind or whatever you want to call it another good thing to practice is those hanging triangles and i'm not really feeling it right now but i might be able to affect this thing because it's hanging so low yeah sure enough sure enough i can i can affect it and the reason is there's hardly any inertia because it's so long that, that uh, I don't know, if, it, if it's really short, it's, if you had this thing hanging really short, it'd be stiff, right? Like, let's, let's say that it were hanging from this level. No, let's say we're hanging from like this level. Then it would be really stiff and it'd be hard to move it. But I can move it because it's so long that it just takes the, it's, it's about, le if you think about it, it's about leverage, okay? I only need, need the tiniest bit of air molecules to move this because it's on such a long lever, okay? The shorter the lever, the harder it is to move. The longer the lever, the easier it is to move, okay? so. So one of the things that you can do is you can practice. First of all, you got to get to the point where you believe that you can do it through glass. And I, I would, I, what I would do for that is I would stay inside and I would work on the tin foil and I put a jar over it and I get to the point where I absolutely know without a shadow of doubt, I might even tape around the edge of it 
so there's no possibility of air getting inside kind of thing, right? And I make sure whatever surface isn't porous that air might somehow get through there. I'd inspect the glass. Yeah, I might even, I don't know. <laughs> I, I would do everything possible to make sure that that tin foil has, has no way of uh, being interfered with outside air. Once I did that, then I would get comfortable with spinning it in the glass. It might take a while. But once you do that, then you realize, oh, I can affect things through glass. And then, then I would practice like with my own windows at home. Okay, that way um, you can practice as long as you want without seeming weird and without being run off by the police, or, you know, without somebody, you know, coming up to you and like, what are you doing? Or business owner running you off, whatever it is. And then, um, and then I would start practicing doing this kind of stuff. I would do it at night. Um, there's advantages and disadvantages to that. If somebody sees you, you look much more suspicious than if it's daylight and everybody's around, but you're less likely to have somebody see you, or let's put it this way, you're, you're less likely to have a whole bunch of people around you and the businesses will most likely be closed so you won't you won't look like your stalker like looking in through the glass at people because i'm not i'm not trying to get you guys in trouble here okay i'm just trying to teach you how through telekinetics the practice of different kinds of telekinetics you can get to the point where you start to exercise your intent and your energy and you learn to direct it and you learn to have a solid faith in the fact that what you think about and what you feel, like in the law of attraction, really does affect the environment around you. Okay? So let's, let's do this really quick. Okay, I'm gonna stop this video. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. And until next time, my friends, peace and be well.